Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to convert your crease pencil to a mesh to do some concept work. Uh, I saw this done by uh, Jama on the Blender conference and I haven't figured out exactly how he does it but um, I think maybe what I'm going to show you is similar to what he does. So I have a, a character base mesh here, it's very low poly, it's just for the purpose of um, showing you this method. So I'm going to hide the plane and the area light and I'm just going to go into uh, this uh, different shading preview. Not super used to using Blender 2.8 and obviously it's a little bit buggy still. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to add a crease pencil blank. I'm going to put it to 000. And um, okay, so let's try a few different things. I have a, um, let's create a new layer. There we go, and let's call it uh, GP Mesh 01. There we go. And let's go into Draw and select the thick line. Make sure you have surface so that you snap to the surface. And then let's just uh, maybe add a uh, modifier, uh, mirror modifier. And let's try drawing some stuff. Um, Let's just maybe add a like a breastplate like this. You can also change the offset. Although I'm not sure if it works in hindsight. Let's put it to one, see what happens. So Okay, that didn't work. I think it went into the mesh now. Let's undo and maybe go to like minus five. No, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm just going to ignore this for now. Um, like I said, I'm not super used to 2.8 yet. So I have this. And then maybe I'm going to add a like a belt object. And then maybe also we can do like some mesh that has some kind of filling. Um, and like this something like this all right so I'm gonna go back to over here um, I'm gonna go into object mode and I'm going to select the grease pencil and this is where things can get a little bit buggy still um, so I'm gonna press F3 and type convert and then you can see convert grease pencil so I'm going to select Convert Grease Pencil and select Bezier Curve. You can select also Pad or Polygon, but I've had some issues with Pad, so I'm just going to select Bezier Curve. Okay, so if you press Normalize Weight, then it will make all of the thickness of your curves the same thickness. And so we don't want this for now, so I'm just going to keep it like this. Make sure you have disabled Link Strokes. Um, so now we should have a... Uh, a mesh which is going to be this one here or we have a curve mesh this this one here uh, so I'm going to for now hide just make sure I'm in object mode I'm gonna hide the grease pencil and I'm gonna hide the the character mesh and for some reason see I have to disable and enable the the edit mesh um, and so Anyway, like that's working now. I'm going to go to um, to object mode again. I don't know exactly how to disable these um, normal previews in 2.8 yet. I haven't found any. Normally it's in here, but I haven't found anything. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore that now. So this is a curve mesh. So if you go into curve, you can um, give it thickness uh, so if I increase the the depth under bevel it's gonna basically make a mesh from it and then you see it's half a mesh so we just have to set it to full so now it's a full mesh in 2.8 also you cannot preview the the wireframe on the curve which is kind of annoying so we just yeah you have to kind of guess right now so if you um, increase the the U preview then that will subdivide like this so maybe we put it like at uh, 3 and then the bevel resolution we can put 
at I think six. Let's do six. Okay, cool. It's gonna be quite a dense mesh, but it's okay. Um, and obviously, you can mess around with the thickness. So I think maybe we keep it like this. So I'm now going to go to object and select convert to and mesh from curve. There we go. So now we have an actual mesh. I'm gonna hide the original curve and select the mesh. I'm gonna uh, shade smooth it. And now let's just give it a quickly a material. A new material and maybe we give it something metallic. Blue, there we go. Roughness like this, and then we can unhide the pose mesh or the character mesh, the plane, and the area light. And then go into render view, EV, and now we see our geometry. Uh, and obviously, you can now mess around with this like any other geometry. I'm gonna add a mirror modifier, and this is kind of the, the basic setup. But we can of course go more into depth here, and this is messy, of course, so it's mainly just for concepting. So let me hide all of these, and let's redo this and try something a little bit different. Um, there we go. So I'm going to go back to Crease Pencil, and I'm going to go... Uh, okay, so Crease Pencil selected, there we go. I'm going to make a new layer, and hide the old layer and call this one GP Mesh 2 and now I'm going to create a new material and I'm going to set the fill for this material to full opacity, no it's over here the alpha on full let's just give it a quick color for previewing let's do this, ok so now if I go into draw and let's just draw some some other stuff let's make let's give our like, smaller radius and surface okay i have the material selected so i'm just gonna create some some breast plates and maybe like a shoulder plate it's very rough and then big let's undo this like this okay so going into object mode and I'm just gonna um, go back to my layers okay and make sure I have the second one selected hide the character mesh so now you see we have these plates here that we just drew and the fill and the material is just for previewing kind of although it didn't really preview that well because of the x-ray don't know how to turn off the x-ray uh, with crease mesh uh, okay so we'll do the same thing we'll press f3 and then select convert crease pencil and we'll select bezier curve and click again okay so now i'm gonna uh, hide the crease pencil and do the same thing here so here is our mesh or our curve mesh and uh, if we go to obviously it's not mirrored so it, it doesn't take into account the mirror um, but we can do that later so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna preview the so it's quite dense so maybe we can uh, I cannot do that I should have done it earlier so I'll do it I'll, I'll delete it and go back to the crease pencil and go to select it Go to edit modes, select all the verts, press W and press simplify. And let's do this like twice, maybe three times. No, I think twice was good. Go back to object mode and let's do this whole thing again. Press F3, convert, bezier. And actually in this case, we could have done uh, to poly mesh. So let's delete this one again. Sorry for the repetition so select uh, crease pencil f3 and polygon curve there we go okay so let's hide the grease pencil and hide the new mesh if you go to edit mode you see we have um, 
a little bit of a simpler mesh. So um, what, what I can do now is I can go into object and uh, we can convert it again to a mesh hide the original this is the mesh now and now you have all your features here so if we go into um, let's just first of all yeah just go into mesh select all of these verts and then press F and now it's gonna fill them you can do the same with this one there we go it's a little bit messy but we can ignore that for now and then this one I'm gonna separate so I'm just gonna do separate selection go into object mode and we're gonna add a mirror modifier and clipping apply and now we can do the same here in edit mode like this I think it needs to be merged so we're gonna just merge these these it's a little bit messy but that's okay okay and now like this and like this and now fill there we go so now we have this kind of dirty mesh and if we uh, I think what we can do is control F and triangulate faces or what we could have done also is W or control F and quad fill or grid fill there we go eh, it's not that great Let's see if we can get it a little bit better it's a little bit messy Yeah, it's, it's a little bit messy. I think I prefer for this one. You can, you could tweak the amount of verts and then you know get a better grid fill. But I think for now we ju we can just do uh, we can just press F fill and then do uh, triangulate, and then you can still do tries to quads, which doesn't really seem to work that great. Uh, and then do the same for these triangulate rise to quad okay object and now we could uh, merge these and I think what we could do is or undo that and add a mirror modifier apply and now merge these and then I'm gonna shade smooth and then you can add a solidify modifier on this I give it some thickness and again we can just assign our material go into EV and go into uh, and hide the pose mesh and I'll just turn off wireframe hide the lights there we go so again it's uh, okay so this one needs to be flipped so we can flip the the, the polys sorry uh, flip where's flip okay I don't see the option maybe they haven't added this yet um, but I think what we could do then is go to object mode and or separate this one object and then we could simply in the modifier invert it like this and then these we could add a little bit more thickness there we go um, so if you want to take it a step further and I think this is what Jama does as well um, I don't know how to do this in blender but I'm gonna unhide the uh, the second one as well. Okay, wait, where is it? This one? No. This one. So I have both of these now that I created, and I'm going to select them and do file export OBJ. 
I'm gonna put this here and just call it temp make sure you have selection only I wish they would set this as the default I don't understand why they don't okay so ignore material and just export obj so now if you have zbrush you can import that mesh and yes this is looks very messy um, but that's what you get with grease pencil so um, now what you can do is you can set it to dynamesh and maybe let's put a resolution of 512 dynamesh and now everything is kind of uh, even even out in topology so you can now polish do some polish on this uh, you can maybe even inflate it if you want you can do some clay polish on it, uh, polish it a bit more, and then you can, could go in here and do some uh, sculpting as well. So let's do some quick, just flatten this out a bunch. This is super dirty what I'm doing now. But it should give you an idea of how you can um, block out stuff quickly and maybe create a pipeline around this uh, so then maybe what you could do is maybe what we could uh, select these and do like a inflate here and now update the dynamesh flatten this out do this okay let's maybe inflate the whole thing a little bit more Dynamesh again, polish, clay polish. All right, let's leave it at that for now. Um, so the nice thing about ZBrush is that you obviously also have the Z remesher. So under geometry, you can uh, Z remesh it. Let's set it to like 0.3 Z remesh. So now you have something that's a little bit more topologically interesting um, but for our purposes i think uh, because we just want to preview this as a concept piece we'll just uh, maybe decimate it put it at five pre-process so this is just messing around with the topology to make it a little bit more user friendly uh, decimate current there we go Okay, so if we re-export this, and I'm just gonna overwrite the original file, go back to Blender, and we're gonna hide these meshes, and then import OBJ, and import the same one. There we go, apply that material, and we just have to put it to shade smooth it, and maybe, uh, tweak this now a little bit um, let's see what we have I don't know where the mirror function is but um, I can turn on connected here and we could sculpt on this in blender as well of course all right so I think that's it you see there's there's a bunch of options um, to concept out very quickly with grease pencil and then convert to mesh obviously the way I showed it to you now is not a super smooth workflow but it's it, and it's obviously quite messy and you need the extension of ZBrush if you want to clean up your meshes um, but I think this is pretty cool and I can see some use of it in my pipeline uh, and perhaps other people will also find use in this all right thank you for watching my first um, blender 2.8 video tutorial have a good day